Y'all, it's time to talk about Beloved. But from a spiritual perspective, let's get into it. Child, Beloved is a long, two-hour, 50-minute movie that came out in 1998, and it was based on Toni Morrison's novel, Beloved, that came out in 1987. Some people categorize it as a gothic, psychological horror, but really, Beloved is a very spiritual, historical film. And come on, y'all already know that anything centered in root work, hoodoo, or African spirituality at all is going to be categorized as like a hoo stay away, scary type of movie but that's really not what this is see a lot of people think that the main character of beloved is setha who's played by oprah winfrey but really the main character when we looking at it from a spiritual perspective baby shook baby shook is the main character of beloved honey See, this film is set right after the Civil War, and as we all know, right after the Civil War, a lot of our enslaved ancestors were not immediately set free. Setha plays a young woman who ran from the plantation that she lived on called Sweet Home. The reason that Setha ran from Sweet Home is because she was brutally graped by the nephew of the plantation owner. Now, it's important to note that when Setha ran for her life, she had three children, two boys, one girl, and she also was pregnant with one on the way. She ended up birthing that child on her way to freedom that she named Denver after the woman who helped her birth her baby. Denver is played by Kimberly Elise. And I have to say, Kimberly Elise was brilliant in the role of Denver, honey. The emotion. Y'all know how Kimberly do. Now, baby Suge is Setha's mother-in-law who was free. So Setha ran to baby Suge's house, but unfortunately, her husband did not make it. She couldn't find him. He never turned up. And see, this is when we get into the spiritual side because Baby Suge was known as Baby Suge Holy. She was a root worker, a conjure woman, a preacher. Now, one of the most spiritual moments in the movie is when they showed Baby Suge leading the ring shout. For those of you who don't know, the ring shout is a traditional hoodoo ceremony in which a conjure person, a preacher, or any well-respected elder from the community would gather the community together in order to praise God and welcome spiritual energy. It looked a little something like this. Women, I want you to weep. Just weep. Unfortunately, Setha's freedom only lasted 28 days because on the 29th day, the owners of Sweet Home Plantation came to get Setha and her four children, but Setha refused to go down without a fight. When Setha saw the owners of Sweet Home Plantation coming to get her, she ran off to one of Baby Suge's barn with her four children. She attempted to unalive all four of the children. Fortunately, three of her four children survived, her two sons and her baby daughter, Denver, but her little girl, who she had her her neck didn't survive now after setha unalived her child she was detained and sentenced to hanging but she was saved by a prominent family known as the baldwin family they knew baby suge they loved baby suge so they saved setha and we know all of this because throughout the entire film setha is telling her own story and in that story she's paying homage ancestor reverence of sorts to baby suge for being her saving grace not just saving her from enslavement but also saving her from the hanging now, Setha goes on to live free with herself and her three children. Remember, her baby daughter, Denver, survived and her two boys. She goes on to live in a house, but that house is haunted. And this is when a lot of people start getting scared. Now, in hoodoo or root working communities, spirits are not necessarily referred to as ghosts, especially when those spirits don't mean you well. They're referred to as haints. Setha's house is haunted by a haint. And baby, that haint is aggressive. It destroys things. It throws things. The movie evens opened up with the dog being thrown up against the wall. All kind of stuff. The haint is so aggressive that Setha's two sons end up leaving and nobody knows where they are. They run because they're afraid of this haunted house. So we don't even really get to see the sons. All we know is that Setha is presently there with herself and her daughter Denver. And baby, things start to get crazy when Pauly D, a friend of Setha's from Sweet Home, the plantation she ran from, pops up into town. Pauly D comes in, and this is when the spiritual symbolism comes in, because he sees red. Red symbolizes evil, the presence of the evil energy. When Pauly D walks in the house, he sees red, and he says, girl, what kind of evil you got here? And he ends up driving out the evil spirit energy, the haint. I 
I shall say. There's a tree on my back. And baby, that Hank reincarnated as beloved. What might your name be? when we get introduced to the brilliant Thondi Newton who plays the character Beloved. Now, Beloved is supposed to be the reincarnated Hank. Beloved seems to have emerged out of nowhere and she's beautiful. Now, the thing about Beloved, how they show her is that she appears to be cognitively delayed or what some people would term as a little slow, something's a little off. Setha takes Beloved in and starts caring for her. Now, Setha doesn't know who Beloved is. All she knows is that she's a young girl who needs some help. Beloved ends up staying there. Now, now, Setha and Pauly D end up becoming very close. They're pretty much in a relationship. They start reminiscing a lot on Sweet Home, and this is where more symbolism comes in. Now, keep in mind, Pauly D just came to town, so he doesn't know much about what's been going on with Setha, but he starts bragging to everybody in the town that he wants to have a family with Setha, and his friends pull up an article like, hey, you need to know who she is. Now, of course, that scares Pauly D because that has him thinking like, oh, you unalived your child. That's why you got this crazy evil energy up in here and on top of that that's why you don't welcome this random girl who to me she's a little weird like what you got going on and not only does Pauly D think beloved is a little weird but he also think beloved put a root on him she fixed him why because one night beloved came into the room while Pauly D was asleep and baby she did some things to Pauly D he started seeing red remember the spiritual symbolism of the color red is some type of evil energy he starts seeing red after that well at this point Pauly D is already like like, what is going on? So he confronts Setha about what he heard, and that's when Setha reminds him of where they come from. And this is where the symbolism of the trees come into play. Setha has a scar on her back in the shape of a tree. Now, the tree symbolizes the root of slavery, the harsh trauma of slavery. Think about it. Setha was sentenced to be hung from a tree. She lost a lot of the people that she loved because of hangings from trees, and they beat the scar of a tree on her back after they had graped her. Despite Setha explaining why she did what she did, Pauly D is still like, this is too much for me. Still, he walks away from Setha. Setha realizes that Beloved is actually her reincarnated daughter after she catches Beloved humming a song that only her children knew. Beloved puts her head back and she sees the scar on her neck and that's her sign that Beloved is her reincarnated daughter. So now she knows that the Hank has reincarnated into Beloved. Now, Beloved is a hank, so she's there with the vengeance, but Setha doesn't know that. Setha starts spoiling Beloved and treating her like a queen, spending all her money, and baby, once she ran out of money and she no longer has sweets to appease her, see, let me tell you about that. In hoodoo or root worker communities, it is believed that you put out something sweet like cake or pie or fruit to appease the hanks, to appease the spirits so that they don't bother you. Well, Setha ran out of money and ran out of sweets, and that's when Beloved start acting up. She eventually rooted or fix Setha and had Setha basically lose her mind. Denver grows older and she starts leaving the house to get work. And once again, this is where baby should comes in. Baby Setha was so out of her mind that she could no longer work to support her family, so Denver started going to work. Well, the community came together to support Denver and take care of Denver as well as Setha because they love Baby Suge so much. And Baby, once the community found out what was really going on at that house and they found out who Beloved was, they got together for what's called a Tarian service to cast that spirit up out of there, and it worked. <laughs>
from our plate. So we already talked about some of the spiritual perspective and symbolism of Beloved, but let's get into some more of it and let me answer some of y'all questions because I see y'all got some questions. Before I touch on the pregnancy, because I'm going to get there because I know that's what y'all want to talk about, I want to touch on the significance of the numerology in the film Beloved. You see the address is 124 Bluestone, right? Now I done told y'all that Setha had four children, two boys, two girls. She attempted to unalive all four of them. Only one ended up unaliving, and that was the third child, Beloved. The two oldest boys survived, one, two, and the fourth child, Denver, who was the youngest girl, survived, four. One, two, four, Bluestone, which was Setha's house that Beloved returned to. Remember, Beloved is the haint reincarnated. And the haint, aka the spirit that doesn't mean the well, is the child that Setha unalived. And for the people who are saying that the two boys didn't survive, baby, I'm going to give y'all some grace because maybe y'all didn't read the book or y'all didn't even understand the first three minutes of the movie, y'all. Because in the first three minutes of the movie, the two boys, Howard and Bugler, are running from the house because they are afraid of the haint. Look at it. <laughs> scene alone there was a lot of spiritual symbolism that was placed to let us know that there was an energy in that house that was not happy aka a haint one of the biggest things we talk about in the hoodoo slash root working community is mirrors and pictures falling off the wall and especially if they are breaking if that is happening in your home it's a sign that there is a negative energy in your home that does not mean you well Another thing I told y'all in the last part was how it's commonly known in spiritual communities that you put out something sweet to appease or ease the energies. Now, when the boys were about to leave, they was gathering up food to take with them on their journey. And when he went to go slice the cake, the cake moved away from the boy and handprints of a child appeared in it. Remember, the haint is the child that set the unalived. So the haint did not want him to have none of the sweets. And when that Hank reincarnated as Beloved, remember she kept focusing in on the pudding at the dinner table, the bread pudding, which is a sweet. If you were from the South or anywhere like that, you know what bread pudding is, right? It's a, it's a sweet dessert. So she got a piece of the bread pudding and wasn't eating nothing else on the plate. She just kept zeroing in on the sweet, on the bread pudding. And remember, all throughout the film, anytime Beloved got upset, she would say, I want something sweet. I want something sweet. And what would cause her to rage out is when there was no sweets available to ease her energy. I also want to quickly touch on the spiritual symbolism of water, which represented birth. There were multiple scenes of the film where they kept focusing in on water as a representation of birth. When Setha was about to give birth, they focused in on the water draining down her leg. When Setha was washing her legs, when Pauly D was about to come, they focused in on the water from the well as she was washing her leg because Pauly D's intro in their life was about to be a new start, a fresh start, a rebirth of sorts. Beloved also emerged out of the water. This is Beloved emerging out of the water before she made it to Setha's house to, to, to rain destruction. This was her reincarnation. And to understand Beloved's pregnancy at the end of the film, you have to understand how Beloved was rebirthed, aka reincarnated. And this is where we get to the spiritual symbolism of the butterfly, the rebirthing, the reemergence. If you pay attention, Beloved was always surrounded or covered in butterflies. A butterfly was always present when Beloved was on the screen to represent reincarnation aka rebirth this is beloved covered in butterflies when she's outside of set this house and even at the end when they cast her out when they cast out the hank after the tarian service there's nothing left but baby Sug's quilt that beloved had took to represent her having a piece of the ancestor and butterflies emerge from the quilt so why did beloved become pregnant by paulie d baby it's because it was revenge towards setha 
Remember, beloved is the reincarnated haint. The haint is the angry spiritual energy of the child that Septa had unalived. Before the haint was reincarnated, it was angry and tearing up the house. And then Pauly D emerged. Baby, when Pauly D came to 124 Bluestone Road, when he pulled up at Septa's house, he drove that haint out of the house. Now we gotta note a couple things about Pauly D. Pauly D had the spiritual gift of the sight. He was able to see the spiritual energy in the form of the color red, and he knew that there was an evilness, an anger, a harmfulness. And also he was able to get glimpses of who this energy may be, but Pauly D was shutting down his spiritual gift of the sight because he didn't wanna know. <laughs> But baby, eventually that spiritual energy showed who it was and honey, Pauly D drove that energy out, which caused the Hank to get upset and reincarnated as beloved. <laughs> Even before the Hank reincarnated as beloved, the whole goal of the Hank was to make Septa be alone so that she, the unalive child, aka the Hank, could have Septa all to herself. Even in this scene when Denver confronts beloved about what are your intentions, like you got me, I love you, you can hold on to me. She says, I don't love you, I don't lo love nobody. Septa is the only one I need. So her goal was to get everybody away from Septa. That's why she opened the door and let the boys leave, and that's why when she reincarnated as beloved, she started hunting Pauly D and fixing him because her goal was to drive Pauly D out just like he drove her out when she was just a haint. Now, it's important to understand that when somebody is fixed or rooted, it means essentially that their energy is being controlled. And when your energy is controlled, your actions, your emotions are also controlled. So Beloved had done fix Pauly D, so she was able to control his actions, his energy, his emotions. And that's when we get to the infamous touch me on the inside, say my name part. Touch me on the inside part and call my name. Now, in this scene, Beloved walks in the room and essentially tells Pauly D if he touches her on the inside and says her name, she will leave. And he did it. But when he starts saying her name, eventually he stops saying Beloved and starts saying Red Heart. Remember, the symbolism for red is the evil, sadness, harmful, emotional energy. And this is the moment that Beloved became pregnant with Pauly D's child. But why would Beloved want to do that? Why would Beloved want to get pregnant with Pauly D's child? Baby, it was revenge. Remember, Beloved is the reincarnated haint. Her intention is to drive everybody away from Septa and get revenge against Septa for unaliving her. Remember, Pauly D had told Septa he wanted to have a family with her. And Septa was like, I'm too old. I can't do that. Beloved knew that Pauly D wanted a child, but Septa could not give him one. So she gave him a child or tried to before the Tarian service and they drove her up out of there. And some of y'all are like, okay, but how could a Hank get pregnant? Remember, Beloved is a reincarnated Hank. She is a Hank in a human body. And when the Tarian service happened and they cast Beloved out, everything that went with her was casted out, including that human body and that baby she was carrying. And to put it all together, we got to touch on the spiritual symbolism of Beloved herself. And again, this is Beloved tearing down more sweets when she was eating the sugar cane with Denver. Denver is Setha's youngest child. Now, this is important so we can understand the symbolism of Beloved. Baby, Beloved is unhealed trauma manifested. Them that die bad don't stay in the ground. It's important to note that Beloved was the only child that was birthed as a result of Septa's grape, the first time Septa was graped. And also, Beloved is the only child who Septa successfully unalived. Septa had never addressed it. She had never healed from it. Beloved represented unhealed trauma, and that trauma was angry, 
hurt and attempted to come back and destroy everything in its wake while also attaching to Setha's baby, her youngest child. Do y'all understand the significance of this? This is the manifestation of unhealed trauma being passed on to the next generation, generational trauma. And baby, the only thing that was able to help Setha release that hate, aka cast out beloved, aka heal that trauma, was the community coming together and tearing in her honor. Go watch, beloved. Much love.